Okay, this is the conference call meeting of the Fall River Commission on Disability for Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. Um, pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Okay, can we have a roll call, Sandy? Yep. Chairman Dennis Paul Sally. Present. Vice Chairwoman Debbie Pacheco. The Vice Chair is absent today. Okay. Commissioner Lisa Silva. Present. Commissioner Danny Roblod. I, I know he's here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened. Danny? He's muted. Oh. Dan Roblod. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza. Here. Okay. Uh, the next item is public input. Oops, public input. And I'll ask again, is there any public input? And public input for the last time. Okay. Um, I'm uh, discombobulated here for some reason. The next item is the approval of the minutes for the meeting of November 10th, 2021. Motion to accept the minutes of the Floor of the Disability Commission for November 10th, 2021. Second. Okay. Is there any... Roll call, Mr. Chairman. Roll oh, call. Sorry. I'm sorry, are there any, I just want to make sure there's no further discussion or corrections. Okay, roll call. Chairman Dennis Paulselli. Uh, yes. Commissioner Lisa Silva. Yes. Commissioner Danny Roblard. Yes. Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza. Yes. Okay. Um, the, the next item is, um, thank you, by the way. Uh, the next item is our guest presenter today, uh, Mr. Samuel Mock. We have been working now for some time on the website, which is now completed, up, and I believe available to the public, and I'll turn it over to Sam. It is indeed. It is up and live and reachable through srcod.org or through fallrivercod.org. Um, if anyone has a computer on hand would like to check in on it, you'll find that it is up and running with all of the commission meetings that are available on YouTube. Recent agendas and minutes of past meetings are all available in PDF versions for people to download and to view. We also have a section for news and events which we can keep the public up to date on your most recent, you know, community activities. Right now we have the Disability Day and the Scholarship Lunch up with photos from those events. We also have our resources page, which has all the available resources and proposals that the Commission has discussed, as well as MDL resources and a directory of all the Massachusetts disability agencies. And then finally, a contact page where people can fill out the form to get in contact with the commission, those emails being sent directly to Dennis, Danny, and Lisa. Um, so we, we decided to have the, uh, the emails sent directly to the outreach work group, but we will definitely 
um, if we if we need any assistance or whatever, we can always share that with the rest of the commission, uh, or if anyone else wants to be added to it. But for now, I thought we would just start with the outreach group. Are there any questions for Sam? Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Mark, thank you for your work. I had a chance uh, uh, two or three times to peruse the website, and I'm very impressed. Thank you very much. I yield. Okay. Thank you very much as well. Uh, happy to do it. Um, I, I can say from our standpoint that our working relationship and setting everything up and making suggestions has been um, nothing but excellent with working with Sam, and thank you so much for um, including resources as we've gotten them and, um, you know, things like that. So thank you for all the help in getting it started. Yes, and going forward, if anybody has input with the website, feel free to contact me. Um, I can make my email address available. Um, and if there's anything missing, whether it's pictures or events that you want to have highlighted, please feel free to email them to me and I will get them up on the website, as well as any new agendas and minutes. I do ask for 48 hours of turnover time before, from when you send the email to when you expect it up on the website, because it allows me to kind of move my schedule around to make sure I can get to a computer. From this meeting on, from after this meeting, um, of course, obviously, um, no minutes will go on the website until it's been approved by the commission. So the first approved min minutes, I mean, there's a history of minutes, you know, um, going back to 2013 that we got from the city clerk's office. But from here on in, minutes of the meeting will not go on the website until they've been approved. So today... The approval for the minutes for November 10th, that will go on. I'll be sending that to Sam right after we adjourn. I'll also notify Dawn Lewis officially that we are up and running. No passwords are needed, no usernames. That was just for commission purposes only to check it out before, we, you know, before it was officially made public. And it's officially made public as of right now, actually. Um, <clears throat> So I'll, I'll let Dawn Lewis know. <clears throat> She's already indicated that, she, and she has stated that she will definitely put a, a link on the city website to the commission. Um, and agendas will continue in accordance with the open meeting laws. The agendas will continue to be posted on the city website. Okay, so they will also be on the commission website, of course, but... They will also be on the city website. That's part of the public open meeting, public uh, posting rules. Um, so that will continue. Um, and I'll also let <clears throat> some organizations know I'm going to, um, if it's okay with the commission, um, let the Herald News know that we now have a commission website. And at the end of each meeting that is broadcast on FRG TV, there will be, uh, I will have them put the website address at the bottom of the screen. Does anybody have um, any objections to that or any suggestions? I, I think that's a good idea. You don't need a motion, do you, Mr. Chairman? No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Um, um, if someone wanted to make one, I, I, you know, I don't think that's a problem, but we don't really, I don't think we really need a motion. Um, I was looking for feedback more than anything else, but um, I'm, I'm going to assume that that's okay with everybody. Okay. Well, Sam, um, given that there are no further questions, um, you're free to stay with us, of course. Or you can um, you can go on to do other things. It's totally up to right. you. These meetings are open to the public, so. <clears throat> all right. Well, then I'll probably bid you all goodbye and uh, a deep felt thank you. It's been a pleasure working with you so far. 
Thank you so much, and we'll we'll all, we'll be in touch too. All right, great. Bye bye. Okay, then um, next are just the work group updates. Um, there's nothing really on the ADA right now unless somebody else has a, an ADA concern. And Vice Chair Debbie Pacheco is absent, so there's no update on policies. And the finance um, will be available through the quarterly budget reports that we get. On outreach, um, I just want to say that we've begun working on the scholarship. Um, um, Danny's been checking into the menu, and um, I think we're going to keep it the same as last year, which is baked chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn. Am I correct, everybody? Yes. Okay. Um, with cake and decorations, and the date is June 4th. Um, and we should be all ready. But what I will be doing now, my job will be to reach out to the principals, and this year we're going to be adding charter schools. So I'll probably either March or the latest April, but March, I'm hoping to have this done in March, would be to to um, to decide on a scholarship amount for next year. Last year we we gave out ten three thousand dollar scholarships. I think it was something like five for Durfee, three for um, for Diamond, and two for Bishop Conley. Um, this year we'll be adding, and, and there were three thousand dollars each. And this year we'll be adding the two charter schools, Atlantis and Argosy, both of which are very enthusiastic about this um, and are looking forward to it. So. The rules will be the same as last year. The determination will be made by the schools, uh, the principals and guidance counselors and whatever other mechanisms they have. Um, they just provide the numbers to us, um, and we'll, we'll determine at our next meeting or no later than the April meeting, we'll determine the amount of scholarships. Um, so... Go, go ahead. I, I th think I have. I think I hear. Um, go ahead. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we, we base the number of scholarships based on the feedback that we get from the principals, correct? That is correct, yep. And Durfee, so, you know, last year Durfee had more, there were more students with disabilities. But it, and it, Oh, the other rule, I'm sorry, I, what I forgot to tell you is they have to be residents of Fall River. And they have to be students with disabilities who have been accepted, um, who have been accepted into a, a, a university, a college, or a community college for the next academic year, like um, 2000, in this case, 22, 23. Now, so that, now that's we, the only commission criteria. The rest now, now did, will be determined by we, the schools. Did we wait last year, Mr. Chairman? To decide on the num uh, the amount until we yeah. get the number from the principal. Yep. No, we I don't think so. Oh, okay. Refresh my memory. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lisa. I don't think so. I think we just set a an amount, got a range of students, and then decided from there, based on that amount, how we were going to divide it. Okay. Um, I think that's how it went. Okay, so we set, we we determined the amount. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, do we want to put this on the agenda for next month? Then next month we do have um, Sergeant Kevin O'Connell coming. Uh, Kevin, not Kevin, Kevin Dolan coming. I don't know where I got that name from. Sergeant Kevin Dolan coming to renew the disability parking program vote. So. Do we want to put on the agenda next month scholarship amount? Sure. Okay. We'll do that. Um, in the meantime, between now and next month, um, I'll be I'll be consulting with the work group, uh, the outreach work group. <coughs> um, does that sound fair to everybody? Yes. Okay. okay. Um, the next item is, do we have any old business? Oh, 
Okay. Do we have any new business? Keep in mind that the next meeting will be mon Wednesday, March 9th at 3.30 p.m. And Sergeant Kevin Dolan will be our will be with us to update us on the program and to uh, a, vo a vote to renew. Okay, hearing no hearing no new business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Okay. Um, can we have a roll call vote? Chairman Dennis Paulselli. Yes. Vice Chairman, oh, I'm sorry, Commissioner Lisa Silva? Yes. Commissioner Danny Rablod? Yes. Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza? Yes. Okay, we are adjourned. Take care.